Hello and welcome to Dash Detailed, which is a show to keep you in the know about Dash Digital Cash. You like it? Let me know below. Let's get started with social happenings. As you may have seen, the first Dash Open House took place this last week in the Skysong Innovation Center, which serves as some Dash office space for some Dash core team members in Phoenix, Arizona. Over 100 people showed up, and you can view the video footage of that event by clicking the card you see on your screen now. In other social happenings, Dash core team member Robert Wyko presented Dash at the Warsaw Block Conference, along with the company CoinFirm, whom you may remember is an AML KYC company directed specifically at blockchain tokens. As project manager Robert Wyko and CoinFirm seem especially interested in marketing Dash to the gaming industry, they performed this sort of lottery mechanism for the audience. There's a new Dash rap song out, which means that, yes, there are now two Dash rap songs in existence. This one is from Paradise Paradox's Kurt Robinson. The goal is to create a system so resilient it evolves whenever it's fisted out of commission. The dream is to cast off these bank of shackles that have been for centuries on our hands and ankles. Elsewhere in Social Happenings, Dash Core Director of Finance Ryan Taylor spoke with Crush the Street. We're at the number three spot. It's forcing a lot of people to take a look at the coin. Maybe they'd heard something about it um, and uh, don't really understand what makes Dash different, but it's forcing a lot of people to invest the time to learn about Dash and learn what makes it different. In Tatarstan, Kazan City, Russia, this billboard has just gone up. Dash core team member in charge of Russian outreach, Alex R.U., has said that this billboard was not paid for out of the Russian outreach budget, but was put up by Dash fans. And finally, in social happenings, it has been deemed by me that Dash's treasury is now funding an official woman welcoming outreach department. And that is in the form of newcomer Stella Bell. Check out this video. I know there's other people like me, and I don't mean the blue wig. I know there's other women out there who are very passionate about the future of digital currency and how it can possibly transform yes. our world. The amount of women who are joining up in our Dash Slack, which is called Women of Dash, it is incredible. Stella Bell then expounded on how she was hired in the piece she published on Hacker Noon entitled How to Get Funded by a DAO. Now on to network statistics. Today's masternode count is exactly 4200. And here's the lifetime chart to go ahead and put that into context. In mining, today's hash rate is 2.9 tera hashes per second. And here's the three month chart for mining. The year long chart and the lifetime chart. The most recent Dash Treasury payout or super block took place mere hours ago, which means we are now in a new voting cycle. That means that the new deadline to submit any and all new proposals, as well as to vote on them if you are a Masternode owner, is about a month from now. Now to development updates. Dash developer Alex Moran, aka Kodax, has just published these demo update videos featuring his project that was funded by the Treasury called the Dash Pay Point of Sale. The Dash Pay Point of Sale will likely become the go-to way for merchants to accept Dash, as it will be supported both on mobile and on, for example, web checkout pages, and uses hierarchical deterministic address generation, which is a fancy way of saying that it allows you to accept payments that go directly to your own wallet, in which a new address is generated for every customer payment you receive. Kodax and his co-developer Nitya also released this video showing the server-side implementation of the Dash Pay point of sale for any merchants who would like to run their own server. For those who don't, Kodax and Nitya will be running one for them. The software is expected for a public release within the coming weeks. In other development updates, the Dash Core business development team has recently released this tutorial on how to buy Dash on Bitfinex. Verify your account. Send the wire transfer from your bank, buy the Dash, then withdraw your Dash. Let's get started. Head to bitfinex.com. You may recognize that sensual voice. Yes, that is my manservant. 
And finally, in development updates, the Dash network monitoring sites DashVoteTracker.com as well as DashNinja.pl have both recently added voting deadline trackers. As you may recall from last week's episode, the deadline for masternodes to vote on the proposals within a given treasury cycle is roughly three days before the actual payout itself. So you'll find that these websites now count down by the day and even the hour of how long voters have to get their votes in. Now to price movement. The current Dash price per coin in US dollars is about $69.50. This is a continued correction from last week's show's reported price, though it is an increase from the price per coin of, say, something like 24 to 48 hours ago, when it was actually down in the 50s. The Dash trade volume of the last 24 hours is approximately $36 million worth of Dash, and our coins in supply, or rather coins in circulation, available coins, is now 7.2 million Dash. Our market capitalization then is $501 million as of today. And let's check out the three month chart for market cap, the one year, and our lifetime chart. Now let's move on to business and headlines. There is a business newly accepting Dash, and it is East Line Ranch, based in Texas, which produces raw organic honey related products. And I can vouch that they are delicious as I was given a jar of it at the Dash open house. Elsewhere in business, a Dash investor who goes by the handle C4 Chaos published a piece in which he explains that he was an early investor in Tesla and that he now finds several parallels between his current Dash investment and how his Tesla investment has gone for him over the years. And finally, in headlines, the Russian exchange Mars, that is the in-person exchange based in Moscow that is now selling Dash, was covered in finance magnates. And in our final category, current opportunities. The Dash Force tells me that roughly 3.3 Dash remain in their budget for Dash they are giving away to anybody willing to put a sell order in to wallofcoins.com. The details on how to submit proof of your sell order as well as how much you are required to sell to get paid how much Dash in return are included in the Dash Force link in the description below, as with all of today's show links. And finally, in current opportunities, Dash Core team member Robert Wyko tells me that the team is hiring two project managers at this time. One should be based in Phoenix, and one should be based really anywhere in Europe. So if you're interested in applying for one of those two project management positions, you'll want to contact Robert at Dash.org. I would provide you a link that gave more details on those job positions, but I don't have one, and I just wanted you to know about the job opportunities anyway. That's it for Dash Detailed this week. Come back on Friday at noon Eastern Time for a spotlight interview with Evolution backend lead developer John Kindell, aka Snogcell. I'll see you then.